Hi guys, it's Julie from CookedByJulie.com. Today we're making baked ham and cheese sliders with a buttery garlic parmesan topping and they were fantastic. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is melt some butter. You may use salted or unsalted butter here. I used unsalted because I bake often and it's usually what I have on hand. Some oregano, poppy seeds, salt if you're using unsalted butter, some fresh minced garlic, and parmesan cheese. To get the complete measurements for this recipe, go on over to my website cookedbyjulie.com. I highly recommend using the amount of butter that I used. It was perfect for 12 sliders. It wasn't dry and bland, wasn't soggy and too buttery. It was just perfect. You can of course add some grated onion or finely chop them, add some caramelized onions on top that's perfect for the rolls i used store bought hawaiian rolls you can purchase them or you can make them from scratch if you'd like i have a sweet hawaiian roll and a recipe for plain dinner rolls on my website as well homemade is obviously always better but for a quick summer barbecue snack store bought works perfectly also you want to use a serrate a serrated knife to slice through these uh and you don't want to slide slice them individually. I just left them like that. It's much easier because if you're going to top them one by one, it's going to be a pain in the... Okay, so you want to use your favorite ham and cheese for this. I use thinly sliced honey ham. It's my favorite and I use creamy Havarti cheese. It's also my favorite. If you don't eat pork, you can do turkey and cheese. Tuna melt sliders are delicious as well, and I kid you not, this summer I'm serving this at every barbecue because they're so good. But I think I'm going to do a variety like turkey and cheese, ham and cheese, and tuna melts. I also have a recipe for chicken parm sliders on my website. Go and check that recipe out as well. So I like to do a layer of ham then a layer of cheese and then top it off with another layer of ham and you want to either roll the ham or just you know give it some volume like I did I don't like to lay it out flat because then it's going to be too it's going to feel like it doesn't have enough I placed about two tablespoons of the butter mixture on the bottom of the baking dish and I then placed the sandwiches I poured the remaining butter over the top. You then want to let it sit a couple minutes before baking so the buns can absorb the butter. And you then want to make sure you brush it all over. Go ahead and cover it and bake it. Once they come out of the oven, you can serve it with mayo, mustard, pickles, caramelized onions, potato chips, anything you'd like. If you're cooking for a crowd, I recommend putting the mayo and mustard on the side in case you have picky guests who don't like mayo or mustard. This is what they look like when they came out of the oven. I topped them off with a little Parmesan cheese and I ate them right away. You are going to love these baked ham and cheese sliders. This isn't necessarily a recipe, more of an idea, and I just had to share it with you guys because a ham and cheese sandwich sounds so basic, but these sliders are anything but basic. If you make these, please let me know and I want to thank you guys so much for watching.